Let's create this radial progress chart in Figma. So to start things off, here we are in a blank Figma project. And I'm going to go down to the toolbar where my shapes are. And I'm going to select the ellipse. And I'm going to start to drag out an ellipse. And I'm going to hold down the shift key so I get a perfectly symmetrical ellipse. And I'll make mine 200 by 200. And then with this arc tool that's on the right hand side i'm going to start dragging this towards the center and what this will do is this will allow us to create that radial shape we're going for that will be the base of our chart so once i drag this arc tool towards the center we'll start to see our sweep settings become visible and we can see here they are right here and we don't want to deal with negative numbers to make this easier so where it says negative 50 percent I'll just make this 50%. So we can see now we have the starting structure of our radial shape, but it's at the bottom, and I want to be the top portion. So this could be controlled by this first setting right here, the start. So right now it's at 0 degrees, and it's at the bottom portion. So I want the top portion. So I'm going to make this 180 degrees. And 50% is perfect because I want just to be the top portion, the half portion of the circle. If I was to make this 100%, I'll get the complete circle. But I just want the top half, so I'll make this 50%. And then last, this ratio controls how much of the ring we get. So right now it's at 0%, so our circle is completely filled. If I was to take this handle and drag it out, you can start to see our ring shape take effect. So I'll just make this 80%. And then I can control the corner radius, so I'll make this 100. And now we have the base of our radial progress chart. So up in our layers, I can rename this as base. And then I'll duplicate this. And this duplicated copy will be our current progress. So I could rename the top layer as current progress. And then with our current progress layer selected, we can change this 50% number to be the current progress metric we're going for. And so, for example, we're using 50%. So if we wanted 80%, all we would need to do is just take 80% times 50%, and that would give us 40%. And we can change the color so it's not gray on gray. So I'll make the current progress this navy color. And then for good measures, I can go down to my base, and I'll make that the navy color as well. And then I'll just adjust this so it's the same hue. And we'll get something like this for our radial progress chart. Now when it comes to this 40% number, you're not always going to have easy numbers like 80%. So if there's ever a situation where let's say you have like 36%, what you would do is take the decimal, so that's 0.36 times 0.5, and that will give you 0.18%. But remember, we use decimals. So we'll just have to move this decimal two places, and that will give us 18%. And here is 36% of our radial chart. I can grab the text tool, and I can add in 36%. And I'll adjust this so it's larger, we'll make it 40. We can make it bold and we'll center it somewhere here. And this is the base of the radial progress chart. And I can even make this navy as well. And we get something that looks like this. Now let's say we had it at 93%. So make this 93. I can go to our current progress, and where it's 18%, I can go 0.93 times 0.5. That will give me 0.46%, and we'll need to move the decimal place, so this will be 46%. And here is our updated progress chart. 